right so if you've seen the fifth anniversary tournament you already know that gone was the winner of the tournament but a lot of interesting things had happened and that is Eskinor being one of the most banned units or teams in the tournament where we only seen Eskinor get showcased legit only once throughout the tournament and this is probably why a lot of people are pretty much afraid of Eskinor and kind of hoping that this man's meta is pretty much going to end pretty soon you can see when the first tournament um they did allow on the first match Eskinor for whatever reason because they chose to ban the demon team they didn't know the tournament had like a pick and ban system um I don't know if I can showcase it Let's see if I can showcase the, the Eskinor team real quick but um all right here we go so this was the Eskinor team and you can already notice why a lot of players in a tournament kind of ban Eskinor from appearing so just look at the amount of damage that Eskinor is going to cause to this guy's team Let's see if I can just speed it up a little bit there we go look at that damage and he ranked up for a single target Because when you have a 6-6 six, six Escanor, oh my god, the, the damage from Escanor, it just night and day. Because you get to proc that, that flame debuff on him. He just starts to feel like a, a real unit whenever you pretty much have him um, duped out, right? So when you have Escanor at 6-6 six, six and stuff like that, you can see pretty much the unknown team is literally just suffering versus against him. And he's trying his best to kind of handle the team but it's not working out the best for him again he's pretty he was pretty close if maybe he had like double single targets or he single target with his Fatoria, he probably could have had a chance at getting rid of Eskinor but Eskinor has so many cards in his hand after this it's just pretty much GG and look at that damage man absolutely destroy his entire team that is the sheer power of Eskinor. And as you saw throughout the tournament, after this one match, a lot of players just decided just to ban Eskinor from the team. No matter what the team was was. Uh like let me go through. That's the same person. Oh, did he let you put Eskinor again? Oh, I think he won against I think he just won against some um, of the teams. Without using Eskinor, didn't he? Yeah. He didn't choose Eskinor at the end. Even though he was able to choose Eskinor, he, he did not choose it. But I think the other players pretty much, um, they just banned Eskinor right away. You see? Yeah. Like this one. They just banned Eskinor on the human team. They banned Eskinor on the Sins team. You can see the a lot of players just choosing to pretty much ban Eskinor throughout the entire tournament. And we're just going to be showcasing Eskinor for you guys. Um, the tournament team Eskinors. As you can see, this one has like the full UR Sins team. This one has the human Sins team. Or not the human Sins, human Eskinor team. And we're just going to be showing that in uh, today's video. All right, so we're going to be showcasing Eskinor Sins team um, for you guys. Just to show you guys, like, Eskinor is just a monster when it comes to PvP and stuff like that. Like, it's just so crazy how powerful Eskinor was that every other team or other other player just just opted out on just pretty much banning Eskinor. no matter what team he could be on it could be on humans they ban him it could be on sin's team he's banning them it's kind of crazy when you think about it so we're just gonna go for this again Eskinor just does so much damage especially when you have him on the sin's team because you have multiple ur characters and you can easily just rank up four as Eskinor because Eskinor does have like a pierce. I think it's like pierce for AOE. So your rank up skills does get boosted from go through skill rank up card effect. And he's gone. Okay, we did take some slow damage. And obviously the the higher dupe Eskinor is going to be the better um, for you. So if you have a high dupe Eskinor, you're going to have a good time of showcasing him but obviously if you have a lower dupe Eskinor you are going to kind of suffer a little bit yeah 
Both are just there just for um <laughs> the rank up. And we have like literally one more card. Um I can possibly go for this and just nuke his team because we get another stack. Like we just did so much damage. And there goes our boost. And Arthur just boom. Just gone. Just deleted. And now he can't really do much because again, if he gets rid of one of my characters, Eskinar is gonna keep getting his attack buffs. And if he doesn't get rid of Eskinar, then Eskinar is just going to absolutely abuse you. So see it, my guy. Eskinar just a uh he just a monster in PvP. All right, what we got here? We got a human Eskinar team. Eskinar just everywhere, boys. All right, so we're just going to go for this. And just nuke his Eskinar. And then he's going to have, like, literally no play after this. That's usually how it goes. Once you nuke the other person Eskinar, I swear they, they brain cells, like, uh, depreciate. Yeah, you get maximum damage right there. And yeah, we'll take that slow damage. And now we're gonna rank up again. That boy, that boy is starting to AoE. <laughs> that boy said, yo, I gotta AoE this. Nah, that's crazy. My boy had an AoE. Um, was he real time link? I'm just gonna nuke right here then. Like I ain't saved my gold card. Get that boy, get that boy out of here. Bye bye, KRS out there. See ya. GG. Bye bye. All right, we got Eskinor. Oh no. For, it's a human Eskinar team. No. What shall I do? Oh, basically my same play. Basically my same goddamn play. I don't know if y'all knew this, but this 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 requires strategy right here. All right. This requires strategy. Only the best of the best can think of this type of play. And the crazy thing is, I have Zeldris Link as well, too. That was 1 out of 6 Eskinor. Oh, my God. So, he wanted to suffer. <laughs> that was 1 out of 6 Eskinor. Because I have LR Zeldris, too. So, that's, that's unfortunate. He can't even move cards. He can't even move cards to get Gage. That's tough. Yeah, I love I love when they when they scramble. Oh, he already got merges. Okay, okay. I'm like sitting here like, wait, what? Uh, I got nuke his Arthur then. So if I rank up right here and I actually uh, nuke Arthur, that'd be nice. I just did this so we can somehow break that stance since you are gonna do double damage. Yep. And then that's GG. See you, my boy. Do I do it? Do I do it? Nah, I'm chill. I'm chill. I'm a chill. I'm a chill chat. GG. 391. Oh, boy. Let's see what game plan I'm about to come up with, guys. Um, technically, I don't need a rank up right here. Technically, I could just do like something like this. 
and probably probably leads to the same thing like I, I technically don't need rank up right here it's not like Eskinor can have real time link see like I didn't really need to and like about the yeah that was a 6-6 six, six, Eskinor too so he's gonna most likely target my Eskinor with his uh Meliodas. The only reason I say it's probably 6-6 six, six is because I just took so much damage right there. <laughs> like that was like half my HP at full. Okay, he ranks up. And he goes after my Eskinor. And he's gonna probably AoE. Yep. This is enough to get rid of me though. He got rid of multiple characters. And we pretty much did the same thing where we just um, AOE. And now we just gonna AOE him back. Kind of like have a little bit of fun with it. Let's see, do I kill? Oh my God, I do. GG. Holy snap, who would've guessed? Who would've guessed? GG though. All right, let's see what we're going to face. Will this be my last match? Finally. Let's see. Oh my God, this is going to be my last match. Holy snap. I thought I was going to get a million bots again. Um, he probably going to end up going for this. And then this. This is where the easy rank ups. I've been facing a lot of bots, so... Um, I'm so glad that this is going to be finally my last match. Wait, what? Is it? Oh, that's old Eskinor. Oh my God. Oh my God. I thought that was the new Eskinor, bro. Holy snap. They look alike. Oh my God. Oh my God. I thought that was literally green Eskinor, bro. I just saw a big Eskinor and I said, oh my God, I gotta get rid of the Eskinor. Holy snap. Nah, never mind, bro. Y'all petty, bro. That made this Eskinor look exactly like that one. That is actually insane. That is some insane work, bro. <laughs> bro, they literally look exactly alike, bro. That is insane. That is insane. GG. I don't even know why you even use an Eskinor. This Eskinor, the light Eskinor, bro. He must have he must have lost a bet or something. He must have lost a bet. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of me using Eskinor. Showcasing like he just he's such a powerhouse of a character. Um I was gonna show him on the humans team, but it doesn't really matter. It's just all about Eskinor at the end of the day. Just to show you like how strong he can be. Um, this guy had Percival. What the? What kind of team is this? But again, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, make sure you guys like and subscribe again. And let me know, man. Did you enjoy the tournament? Uh, did you get all your parlay picks right on the thing? Did you vote for the right team? Or did you miss a lot of them? So hopefully you guys enjoy. This really guys, I'm out. Peace.